So you can see my truck down there, right in front of the truck, we found a sulfide vein which had been recently exposed because of all this logging. Uh, we're going to go take a look at that after. We just decided to quickly head up and continue on and we just found uh, some old working. Doesn't look like too much of anything. Maybe they blasted out um, a little bit of this. Uh, following sulfide veining, looks like uh, quartz in there with schist, kind of interwoven, and minor amounts of sulfides. So we're going to go up and uh, see what else we can find. Just came out of the woods, we're about uh, 50 meters above that small little area that was blasted out, and we're kind of following the zone we're off on the side of the road down here and uh, we did find some samples along here which contain massive sulfides and uh, if you take a look this is what they look like so you can see some calcopyrite in there uh, but mostly you have your iron sulfide pyrite. Found a few more samples up there, we'll hammer open. So, creek here, we did find a sulfide vein. I think there's various sulfide veins. Some more samples here. Looks like another one right here. A little bit in there. So we got our samples. Let's uh, see what else we can find. Not three meters up, still in the Sludgy Creek. More here. Very nice looking samples. Very heavy. So you have a, about a five to 10 centimeter wide sulfate vein somewhere in this area underneath the road and creek and then you have uh, lots of little stringers of uh, smaller sizes another one here I wanted to hammer more deteriorated sulfides so following this schistostone just below where my prospecting partner is, where we took those last samples. You have more samples here in the creek or ditch. So it looks like a sericite schist, pyrite and calcopyrite. And it looks like we got some uh, exposures here on the side. All up in there. Nice new showing. Located over about 100 meter zone. And uh, 50 meters wide. So let's pull some more samples and uh, take a look at them. So just loads and loads of samples like this. You can see 
got a bit of an iridescent color in there, blue. It's definitely calcopyrite from the oxidization. Some nice looking samples. Back down at the uh, very first spot that we found, you have sulfides all throughout this exposure disseminated in schists. You have small little stringers of sulfides, minor pyrite in it. A lot of it's deteriorated out. You can just uh, you can just see. So, and directly above this, about uh, 25 meters, is that uh, very first spot with the workings, kind of in line with this. And if you take a look up here, we're uh, just off of contact. And way up there, you can see all that white all along the ridge there. We've chased this all the way over to here. And this continues also another 75 meters this way before it dives under overburden. Uh, thickest point is about right here. And uh, it's about 30 feet wide, maybe 25 feet uh in other places and then it kind of gets a bit smaller at the ends here where it dives into the overburden but that's all the time we have for today hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh looking at some samples and new showings so take care everyone and we'll see you guys in the next video